Good morning, folks. Right now, many of you would be getting on airplanes to head to Denver for the now canceled conference. Last night, we put up one of a few special videos we've got for you instead. But let's start with our star at spaceweathernews.com and find the north is peppered in active regions. The coronal holes are confined to the polar zones, and those sunspots on the north are not flaring. The solar wind took a cue from the sunspots and dropped out all intensity. Plasma speed descended now into normal range, and geomagnetism returning to quiet condition too. The top quake of the last day was a blood echo hitting the low velocity zone beneath Vanuatu. No damage when it's so deep. Quick photos of the hail in my city yesterday. A few southern regions of the springs had few cars escape the hailstorm unscathed. Pretty good storm there in the Japan Sea as well. East, west, north, and south along the tail do have the chance for extreme conditions. Aesthetic shot of the day can be found in a multi-image share from ExoMars. I won't spoil the entire album at the link below, but the top shot would be the blue leaf-like features within one of the oldest and initial impact craters now peppered with those runoff features and subsequent craters. Up next, folks, a quick note on penguins in Antarctica. New satellite identification techniques have increased the number of penguin colonies by 20%. They were missing one out of every five. Some are in precarious sea ice regions, but some are in what they think are excellent position. So yesterday we shared this animation of a pair dancing only 35 light years away. And believe it or not, despite the visual similarities, that is not the same exoplanet system we are discussing today. It is five times further away. They are noticing that the planet has about 25 Earth masses crammed into a volume smaller than Neptune, making it one of the densest exoplanets known and throwing a wrench into their formation theories. Trendbreaker. Up next, folks, we are looking at the shape of the heliosphere. It's long been asked if we have a very long heliotail or a shortened astrosphere. Voyager probes are helping us learn about that interstellar plasma, and so is Ibex, and here they are determining it's the short version. Red lines are meant to show the galactic magnetism, and indeed, we are inside this little cocoon of our star. That is not to say there is no tail region at all, but it is mostly comprised of the particle outflows from the border interactions rather than a stretching out of the system fields. And we are sliding back to the sun itself now to find an issue with the solar resonance lines. In a very Dr. robotai like fashion, they are saying the standard thought process about the sun needs to change based on these observations put in perspective. And while they do rationally select their best option for change, they nix another one because the sun would need to have unreasonably special properties in order for the implications to be real. Not exactly something I'd say was impossible. Lastly, on the article front, we're going to Jupiter, where the weather cams on Juno are raking it in. While not an actual visual flash of lightning seen by Juno, numerous signals from shallow atmosphere lightning come up through the clouds, and they do so with such similarity to what our satellites and ISS register for shallow lightning that they know they can map and better understand the storm chemistry on Jupiter just by taking its cues from the lightning signals. Folks, if you missed last night's video, we hit five commonly asked questions on Earth's catastrophe cycle. How do we know there is a cycle and we're about to take the hit again? Is there any truth to the days of darkness? Hint, yes. Who were the people and what were the timelines involved in the cover-up? What are we watching for on Earth right now? And where to find the answers to any other question you think up? Again, we've got more coming to make up for the canceled conference this weekend. Do not miss last night's or the background videos on the disaster. We greatly appreciate your support. For this entire would-be conference weekend, everything at otf.cells.com is on sale. My textbook, our children's learning books, hats, shirts, and we're giving away conference merchandise with your orders for free while supplies last. Otherwise, they're just going to sit here. As always, you can catch up with our other top videos at suspiciousobservers.org. Again, do not miss last night's video. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.